What's going on everybody, JMO Giants here, and today I'm going to be showcasing LF Tag 17 and 18 on an LOE team. Alright, so let's take a look at the equips I'm using. So I'm using this should be fun, which is Blast Attack Health and Hybrid Hands. Um, the Awakened equip for Red Android to Strike Defense Special Move in both offenses, and then the Android Tower equip, which is Blast Attack, both defenses and Strike Attack. On LF Frieza, I'm using the Frieza Saga clip, which obviously is a use, and his Platinum clip, which are both necessary. Cannot roll that last off in my life. And then Blast Attack, Special Move, and some Strike Defense. On the uh, Blue Revival Frieza, using the Awakened equipment, Strike Defense, with Blast Attack, Special Move, and a lot more Blast Attack. And then the other two equips I'm using on the same, same LF Frieza. And on Green Frieza, I'm using the Universal Survival Saga, Universal Survival Saga clip as well. So the thing I'm just going to say, I'm doing post-com, which I usually don't do, so the video is going to be a little weird, but we'll see how it works. My recording software kind of glitched out. Um, also, these matches are recorded with top K 1K PvP, at this moment top 2K, so all these matches are high quality matches, and yeah, I'll see you guys in the first match. Alright, so like I said, this is post-commentary, so the um, everything's going to be a little weird, but it's okay. So first match is against uh, Future Team with 7 Star Trunks, LF17 and 18, and Purple Rosé. So we're going to start the match out with Vanish, we are going to Clash. I believe I win this Clash, I do. And then I go for a Blast right away, he cover changes. So I go for a Blast right away, go tap up, I think I switch out here. I don't, I actually get my Vanish back, Vanish, go straight away, get him. I'm just going to combo here with 17 18 for a little bit. He switches to Goku Black, so I don't really have to worry about the cover change yet. If he goes in the trunks, I type the damage, so I don't even care about it. So I just go for my strikes here. Even some damage to trunks is very good, and half of his team is already leaking in the first combo. I go for blue right away, end up not catching him, and I end up getting caught because I have no vanish. I believe I take this damage here until he switches to 18, where I will go into my yellow. And if he doesn't switch after I get to half health, I go into blue. That's my plan for most of this match. And so I catch him. I'm gonna go into yellow here. No, I'm actually gonna just switch to 18. Sorry, switch to 17, get caught with the blue card, and probably go right away. Oops. And he catches me on the step. I'm gonna switch out here. Hit the short Dragon Ball. I this for a while. I believe I stay in here. I do. Until he rushes, I'm gonna probably stay in he overextends, so I catch him in a combo. Switch out here just to get some key and then go back into 17. And we're just gonna get some long combo going here. And I see I have a blue card, so I know after the strike card, somebody is dead when I use this blue card, so. He lets uh, Purple Rose go. Uh -oh, Trunks goes for tap right away. I vanish and we clash. 989, nine, I do win this clash. Probably use the strike art. Yep, switch back to 17, get some key. Actually, we end up killing the trunks right away there. He'll find endurance because this character just no has endurance for existing. He goes right away with the green card, gets priority, but I can stay and take this for a while. You can see tanking ability is very good. And we're going to blue revival Frieza because he hasn't popped my revive yet. This game is basically over him. There's almost no way for him to win. He ends up sticking around for a long time. Drops a combo here, ends up getting a pretty decent bit for it. I couldn't sidestep for whatever reason. But there, he catches me again with sidestep, which is honestly played this part very well. But unfortunately, it does not matter because he hasn't popped my revival yet, and I'm just gonna go into revival, tank this, and if he switches, pops my revive. It's not gonna be a big deal for me. He would have to pull off a miracle during this match. Actually, catches me there. The rising rush. But this is also against my revival unit, so he's popping my revive here. I believe I guess him. I don't guess him. Okay, so he actually does pump my revive. So pops my revive. So I'm probably gonna go right away with the blast here because I don't believe he has a vanish. I should go right away with the green because he's no vanish. Catch him in a combo and this should be good. Go to 18 here. Get cards. Card draw speed and this should be good. Let's get out of here. 
sure. Alright, so our next match here is against Vegeta Fam slash Saiyans with Ultra Kaioken. This should be a good match. Obviously, Ultra Kaioken is still probably the strongest unit in the game. 17 18. So Very good counter to him, though, I cannot lie. So I go right out the blast. He's gonna catch in the blue card here. Does minuscule damage. Throw another blast. He taps me. He has no vanish, so go with the green. He actually switches out and catches me. That is long animation, so don't throw that out like that. Bad idea by me. Go to yellow freezer here. Destroy a Dragon Ball. Throw a blast out. Get his vanish. Go right away. He taps me. Then you go to green freezer here. Tap, going green trees, I'm assuming. Actually, no, if we go back to 1718, throw the blue card. Yeah, that was fine. Catch, Ultra Crack Ken. Should do at least half his health here with the blue card. Very good damage. 1.5 mil. Very good. Alright. Kind of a weird zone here. I tap, end up getting his vanish. I end up catching him on his sidestep. And then this combo he destroys my key. I'm just gonna. I end up dropping because he destroyed my key and I did not go into Yellow Freezer with the restore key. But obviously watching this back, there are some things I could have done better, but... Okay, he uses two green cards, I end up casting me on the second one. Leaving on Yellow Freezer here, destroy two Dragon Balls and a card. This Eloise destroy amazing about that. He already has his lock-in. I believe he uses it here. I do believe he actually does kill me as well. He does. Obviously, Green Vegeta one of the scary characters in the game just because of that lock-in, but he ends up having no vanish, so I can go right away. I'm gonna use my main here, I assume. Yeah, get key back, use a strike card, go into 17 and 18, start comboing. Switch to 18 probably for the key here. Yeah. Use the green card, take away his vanish. I actually drop on purpose because he has no vanish, so you can't sidestep. Everybody always does that. Very hard to counter that, to be honest. Get this combo going, to get 17 back in. Get same team back in, get type advantage, card draw speed, and draw obviously a blast card. Don't get cards if she's already had card draw speed. Stay back here, I have my vanish, match his blast, make him vanish. He actually goes right away and catches me, I thought he was going to sidestep and or switch. Send him going to green golden freeze though. Tanking this decently well, the screen freeze is obviously very good. He drops, and he tapping me, I think I throw out a blue card here. I don't actually, I just get my vanish back. And then catch him uh, when he goes for a tap blast I believe. The blue card, obviously very good damage, get extreme bleed on him, use his vanish, and catch him in a PV. Go into 17 and 18 here. He ended up blocking my strikes, so I obviously forgot about, and he ended up catching me in the sidestep. If he would have rushed here, I would have been in a bad situation. I don't think he had a rush because I've restored so many of his Dragon Balls, so. Use the blue card, gets me about half HP, go for a blast right away. Obviously, I know. He really, he does a really well catch me there. I thought I was going to be able to get him. I did not. He rushes me. And unfortunately for him, I do end up guessing him here. I'm going to switch out to Green Golden Freeze and make sure I'm safe. Actually, I tap and get him. He probably thought I was going to switch, even though I thought I was going to switch. So, that's a good play by me. If I pass me. Go into Green Golden Freeza. Tap. Ooh, actually, I actually catch him in a rush. That was a really good rush for me. I did not know how I got that off. My reaction speed was probably on... Crazy. When I'm not like doing a voice live recording, obviously I'm a lot better at the game, which is why I'm trying to do this as well as my recording kind of broke, so I kind of had to do this. But if you guys like this style of video, make sure you uh, tell me in the comments if you like this better than the other one. My audio may sound better as well, I don't know. So, anyway, so we end up rushing him, he does not guess me. He has Red Road of Vegeta, so I have no vanish. The Green Golden Freeza is tanking this like a champ. Pretty much just needs to get a combo going, break 17 and 18, and get some healing going, and his team is going to melt. So they end up finally getting a combo going, going to 17 and 18, and go back to 17 for the heal, as well as the green card I'm going to use with him, and obviously draw cards. Use the green card, draw another card, use the blast, use the blue card, somebody will die here. He ends up giving up yellow Vegeta, which I believe is the right choice at this point. I'm um, probably going to switch back to 18 for card draw, vanish, he goes right away with the tap, I'm going to go into green on Frieza, vanish, go right away, and that is match. Alright, so our next match is against 17 and 18 on a future team with uh, LF Cell and Yellow Kaioken in the leader slot. So this is obviously a very good team, this is a team I've 
I think is up there, but only problem is it's not a very defensive team. Um, so does destroy Dragon Balls, but he does go with the green card right away, catches me in a blast, and I already knew by that that this match was going to be hard. He's obviously very awake. He started the match with the green card the second I pressed my bass button. I'm like, he's awake, he's active, and he's going to be good. So I already was planning for this match to be a struggle. Ends up dropping the combo there when I bring in my yellow gun freezer, so I still destroy Dragon Ball, but he does get good damage on me here for basically my fault. I don't know, just you know, about half HP to get my unique activated. I believe I go right away here with a blast. I do, I catch him. I'm gonna go to my 17 and 18 with a blast as well. He catches me with Cell, destroys one of my Dragon Balls and all my cards. Go full screen strike. I do not do anything here. End up getting the Vanish PV, going to 18 and get my combo going. Now, this is risky because if he goes to the Kaioken and has a blue card, somebody should tank it, but luckily he doesn't. So he just combo with 18 for a while here. And I'm going to yellow Frieza. He ends up uh, trying to tap me twice and he couldn't do it, so I end up getting a free combo here. The cell is leaking. He ends up switching to 17 and 18, catching me on the blast cover change. Don't believe he has a blue card, he does not. I go right away with my blast, he matches. I end up going to Royal Frieza using my main, see if he did anything. Throw out the blast card, got him to vanish. He went to Kyle Ken here. He, I couldn't side slip, probably because I started charging. Bad mistake by me. Probably going to yell freeze to destroy Dragon Ball here. Yep. All right, take this B card. It's fine. So tap. Got his vanish on two characters. Got a PV and probably going to go to 17 and 18 and start comboing here. I actually just end up killing him up there. Now I'm going to go to 17 and 18. Use the rush, catch him and tap, so it's a really clutch rush. Luckily he doesn't guess me. So the Kyle Ken will be out of here. Now for him to win this match, he would need a proper miracle. He does get me with a tap here, I go right away into the Royal Frieza. He hasn't popped my Revival yet as well. So I'm in a very good situation here. Blue, yellow against 17 and 18 with a Revival character, it's a very good situation. He does end up popping my Revival. Now if I were me, I'd throw out a blast right away here, try to get him to vanish. So I do I end up doing too late and he just ends up casting with his blast, but obviously he just used mostly a number of cards left. He ends up dropping again, gets me on my switch. It's a good little combo here, uses green card, does my vanish. And he ends up rushing this yellow freezer. So I just obviously let him tank it. Still have my 17 or 18 and blue rock freezer with his main, so I can destroy two dragon balls. And I end up guessing him, so this match is basically over for him. I'm gonna go into 17 here. Catch him with a blast and go with another blast and yeah, basically over. And basically. end up getting him to vanish here, destroy his dragon balls, go right away. He sits in the yellow going Frieza. He taps and I just throw the sweet card and that is match. Actually, he survives this because 17 is taking this very well. But I get my vanish back after my using my moon. And um, I get the PB. And then he forfeits. Alright, next match is against a very high star god key team. 14 star Vados, uh, 9 star uh, Samasu, and I believe 9 star Jiren. So I end up vanishing right away. And we clash. Both get 9 and 9 here, and I actually end up winning the class, so I was 0.01 seconds faster than him, which is really lucky. So obviously, uh, I think this match is really, really laggy. So you're gonna see a lot of stuff in this match that's really laggy. I couldn't swipe there, my combo dropped. Like this is very laggy match from what I remember. Got a PV here. I'm gonna go combo Vados for a second here. I have a lot of blasts as well, so you can't cover change me. And I end up dropping this here because I didn't figure let his Vados die, but he ends up just staying in. I use the blue card. He catches me in the vanish, so he did not care about his Vados life in this match at all. I'm gonna tank this for a little bit here. End up going to Yellow Freeze to destroy the Dragon Ball and tanking, obviously. So I'm also doing decent damage with carrots here. Uses his main, but I can bring Green back in time, so I'm not worried about it. End up bringing Green Yellow Freeze back in. And he doesn't even use his main. He stands there to destroy a card, destroy a Dragon Ball. He ends up catching me when I go for a tackle. Good, good reaction time. He ends up dropping. Um, and I end up going right away with the blast and killing his Vados. 
So I end up going right away, catching his Jiren, and getting a pretty long combo here. We go to yellow with Golden Frieza here. Sorry, yellow, uh, no, yellow Ala Frieza. I uh, end up dropping because this match is so laggy. Using a blue card, do not catch him, and I believe I go... Yeah, see, I don't know what's going on here. I think my game was lagging so bad that I tried to press my rush, and it would not let me. So he ends up getting a free combo out of it, which I'm sure made me very mad at time, but I end up getting a cover chain switch on him. Go for a... See, it's good. It should not show a blue card, but that was a blue card, which is obviously something is wrong here, but you see what I'm saying. So I end up killing his Jiren. Using green card. He loses vanish, so I go right away. He can't do anything about it. And for whatever reason, the lag did not let my combo work, but I end up dropping, and it ends up working out for me as I catch another combo. And here, I have a feeling I didn't actually have a blue card there, because I would have just went for the LF, but obviously I didn't have a blue card. I end up going back into yellow, destroy Dragon Ball. If he rushes me, he rushes me. I don't really care if this yellow unit dies. And I'm going right away, catching him. And I obviously think I can kill, so I don't know what cards I have, but I don't know what's going on. This replay See, that was a strike card, but it was showing a blue card. So obviously the replay system is not amazing at the moment. It's definitely a little glitchy, but I'm getting a PV. Waiting for him. Taps. Probably go back into 17 and 18. I do. Matches blast. Vanish. Tap. Go back. End up going using green card to get priority, and I believe the match should be over. It's also showing blast cards that are strike cards. I don't know what's going on, but not really the point. Well, you can see what's actually going on the match. I see one of the cards that are down below. The replay system is really broken, and that ends up being match. Sure. Alright, our last match is going to be against the Fusion Warrior team with Goku and Vegeta. This team is very good, it's a very high star Gogeta, and I'm just going to tell you, this is one of my favorite matches I've ever played in my life. So, I end up getting the Vanish right away, waiting for him, trying to catch from the blue, I don't get it, he ends up getting a combo on me, and you can see the damage from Gogeta, very good here, a little bit too much for my liking. He ends up dropping, but he ends up waiting too long, and uh, I end up getting to Vanish, but then I go right away, he gets PV on me, he uses two green cards, so I do end up getting my yellow in, and getting a Vanish, but then... I go right away, and he vanishes me again. And then I end up going right away again, and I end up catching me to combo. He goes into Gogeta. Obviously, I'm doing pretty good damage here. I uh, don't have a card, so drop. Get him to use his vanish. Go into 17 18. Could not vanish. End up getting caught in the combo. So we go back into Green Golden Frieza, and hopefully I can tank, but he ends up going for a rush already. And I just have to hope I guess him here. This match is going to become a shit shot. Fortunately, I do not guess him. My Green Golden Freezer goes down for the count very early in the match. I have hardly hit him. I've hit him one time, but not that much damage, and he has my 17-18 leaking, and my Green Golden Freezer is dead. So we end up having 17-18. to go for a tap right away, get his vanish. He ends up using his main and catching me with his main right away. I'm praying I survive this, but I don't think I will. And I end up actually dying here. So now I just have my LF Pop Freeze against his whole team. So just watch the rest of this. End up getting a PV here. Finally getting my first real combo on him. Gonna probably use this blast card and use this rush. He ends up letting Goku and Vegeta get rushed, which I believe is a mistake. He's a blast. Hoping I don't get guessed. He ends up using a blue card, and I end up do not getting I end up not getting guessed. So his Goku and Vegeta are down for the count. I'm gonna use my main here, get my vanish back. Do end up getting my vanish back. I'm gonna sidestep. Flip, hope I can get him a combo. Throw out a blast card here, use his vanish, then I vanish. This okay, another real combo on him here. And this is why Elfal Power Freezer is a god. He has a lot of health left. I do not think this is gonna kill at all. And I think once this is once I die, once this is over. Once this does not kill, it's over. But it ends up killing him. And that's just his Ultra Gogeta versus my full previous. So obviously can't do anything there. He uses his main right away. It's a guaranteed hit. I know Vanish, I know nothing. Guaranteed hit. Tank it very well, just get 50% XP. Get my Unique activated and heal to about 75%. He uses a green card to cancel my Aspirate upgrades, but I have uncancelable card draw speed. Use blue card, end up not catching him, making him vanish, and then he catches me with another blue card. So I am leaking at this point, and I have no cards, but uh, strike card through his blast, use my blast card, and... I'm doing a lot more damage he's doing to me, but it's whoever lends the hit next wins. He uses his main. I end up getting a PV, or I went right away, and I end up catching him. Use his green card. 
get more key, I'm gonna do a quick charge, use the blue card, and this is match. That may have been my best comeback ever, so I'm gonna put it in the video, even though it wasn't really a 17 18 shit piece. I'll actually play one match. Alright, so our last match is gonna be against a future team with Andrew in the leader slot, uh, yellow free to play Trunks, and purple rose. So I'm gonna vanish right away here, go right away. He ends up getting a PV. And he's gonna get a little combo on me here. I'm gonna tank this for a little bit. Obviously, 719. Decent tank here. Doing pretty well. Gets about half HP. Goes to LFRZ. Try to get a PV here, but he ends up tapping. Vanish, end up getting a PV. Blast. Just gonna combo until I can get back into 17 here. Not doing much damage, obviously, it's type of percentage, but go back to 17. Get some decent damage on those trunks here. Keep going, all the blasts. And the strike. I believe I switch out, try to get key here. I do. Okay, use the blue card. Sorry, use the main, use the green card. He doesn't vanish, and he ends up waiting too long, and I am getting a PV. Gonna use this. Tried to drop there, but it didn't matter because I didn't have a watch anyway. Use this. Go back in the I'm gonna stay back here actually. He ends up uh, drifting up, so I go for a strike, catch him. Go into 17, 18, drop, and he drops, so end up getting LFRZ. Getting some decent damage on LFRZ. And uh, LFRZ is leaking. He ends up switching back out. Gonna go into, uh, after this card, gonna go into blue Frieza here, get key, wait for him to sidestep, get him, and that is a dead uh, free play trunks. And I end up vanishing. Tapping, going to Ella Frieza, go right away. He was not expecting me to go right away. And that is the last match we have because the servers do not only let me record anymore. Alright, so obviously I've won like 15 games in a row with this team. It is very, very, very good. Yeah, so I as you can see, I've been I'm at rank 1743, only using this team for the start of the season basically. It is very, 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 very good. I think it is the best team in the game. It is my favorite team to use in the game right now, and it's just good at everything. There's manipulation Dragon Balls, there's Revival, there's Endurance, there's Damage, there's Tanking, there's everything on this team. So I think this is the most around team in the game. Obviously, it's working at top 2k PvP. So yeah, if you guys want to use the team, try it out for yourselves. It's really good. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. Make sure you leave a like, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace!